Yo! So, today I will be talking to you guys about how to start a small detailing business slash car washing. So, I've had this detailing business for about two years now, and it's slowly starting to make its way, but I could possibly be having two employees, which would be great. Um, but so far, I've just been doing it by myself, and I'll tell you guys the goods, the bads, and everything you need to know about detailing. So, we'll start with the goods. So, the goods about detailing is you can make good money, and you charge, obviously, not as a car wash. So, like, you know, you'll see car washes range from, I've, near me, it's like 5 bucks to $25, just for, you know, go through a machine that does it for you. But detailers usually charge in the hundreds, like usually starting at 100 and can range from like 550 to 600 for the max, you know, you hand wax, you clay bar, all those things. But I have not run into any problems in the sense of customers. Um, it's been pretty much just self-explanatory. You detail the car and then they pay you. But the one thing I would say you guys need to watch out for is when you detail cars with dogs, because the dog hair, you think, oh, you know, you'll vacuum it up. It'll be all, all set. That's just not how it works because it's so into the carpet. You have to find either specific tools you need to have for it to work. And if you don't have that, it can take upwards of like an hour, hour and a half just for the dog hair alone. So you're spinning on a detail. Usually if it's, we'll say no dog hair for me, it's like, two hours, hour, half, two hours, depending on how bad the car is, obviously, but I would definitely recommend looking into that. But some of the bad sides is, I mean, I don't really care about getting dirty, but some people hate getting dirty and like being, you know, stuff will just kick in your face and, you know, it's just to some people gross, but I don't really honestly care about, you know, that. Um, so if you are one of those people who, I wouldn't say germaphobe, but you don't like getting dirty, then this is definitely not the thing for you because if you... Don't like getting dirty, you're gonna get dirty every day. Every single car you do, you're gonna get dirtier, dirtier, dirtier. But I would say things I've learned definitely was marketing in the sense of you need to be able to control how many people you get. So say you have the two a day and it's just you, and you think that's you know, I like I can do that. But once it starts getting four or five a day, unless you want to spend 13 hours out in the sun it's not going to work. You're going to have to hire someone. So you really have to figure out how many cars you want to do a day because you don't want to tell someone you can do it, but then don't, you know, then you never end up doing it. And then it turns into this huge thing and they just, you know, they'll take their business elsewhere. So you always want to make sure to, you know, like people always say, it's kind of cringy, but the customer is always right because you always have to make sure, you know, after at the end of every wash you want to do a walkthrough with them and before every wash you want to take pictures of say there's a huge scratch a you know different scrapes different dents like different defects on the car because you don't want the customer to come back and say you did that to my car you know i'm gonna sue you or you know give me 500 or i'll sue you so you want to make sure you know what you're doing and um how you're doing it so you want to make sure you take pictures send those to the customer so they are aware that you know the damage and they know the damage so it's in unison you both know that there is damage and you know that's it and but i would definitely recommend getting an employee as soon as you can because you know the two hour two hour car wash can turn into an hour even and that means you can do those five six cars because it'll take you six to eight hours instead of like 10 to 15. So I would definitely recommend that. But other than that, I would recommend you really focus on marketing because if you don't have a marketing aspect, you don't really have much to go. You can work off of word of mouth, but that only goes so far because if you want to expand to different cities, surrounding cities, you always want to make sure you know what you're doing. So peace out.